you're telling me is that we're going to be a defensive-minded, defensive-first team. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. What's up, YouTube? We're back once again with another sport topic. And today we're going to talk some football. Houston Texan football. Is it true that the Texans could possibly end up getting a future defensive player of the year caliber type of player? From moving on from Deshaun Watson. We're going to talk about We're going to break it down. But before we do that, like I've been telling you in the last couple of videos, the goal is to reach 5K, 5,000 subscribers. We are so close. Y'all, we are very, very close. But y'all know what y'all got to do. Yeah, trust me, if we get to 5K, I'm doing a special, special giveaway. Trust me, you want to be a part of it. But the only way to be a part of it is to get a channel to 5K. So what I need y'all to do is like, share, subscribe, send it to your homeboy, your homegirl, your cousin, anybody who likes sports, anybody who likes good content on YouTube. Share this video. Get them to subscribe. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. You want to be a part of it. Share it on all your social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever social media you use. Share it on those platforms. Also, follow me on social media. The link's in the description below. Click the links in the description below. we giving away 30 days free of Amazon Prime. If you sign up for Amazon Prime, you get 30 days free. Also, like I said, follow me on all social media platforms. And let's get this channel up. The 5K, because trust me, we get the 5K, I'm doing a very special giveaway, and trust me, you want to be a part of it. Now, let's talk about it, because and I just did a video talking about what are the options for Deshaun Watson, what's next for Deshaun Watson, but a report has come out that the Washington Commanders, the Washington football team, whatever you want to call them, are interested in buying a quarterback and getting a quarterback by any means necessary, and they are willing, nothing's off the table. They're willing to do whatever it is they possibly can do to get a quarterback. Now, they have the 11th pick in the draft, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm thinking more likely they're going to use their 11th pick on the quarterback. If it's, uh, um, what's the boy name? Uh, 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 Matt Corral, if it's Kenny Pickett, because those are the, the two consistent now of the, the, the upper echelon quarterbacks in this draft. If it's Malik Willis, if it's, uh, um, Desmond Ritter, one of those guys. But like I said, the, the two top guys right now is uh, um, Pickett and, and and Corral. And if some if by some strange way those both of those guys go top ten, and they are left with have to take a Malik Willis or anything like that, they they'll do that. I think they're going to spend their eleventh pick on a quarterback unless they go out and get a Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers or a potential Deshaun Watson. Now I'm gonna say this. Because I thought there was no way that that, that uh, Washington would be after Deshaun Watson. That there was no way that out of all the teams in the NFL, I thought that Washington had less chance of getting Deshaun Watson than the Texans have of keeping Deshaun Watson. Because I think the, the, the 22 cases, the 22 lawsuits, affects them more than any team in the NFL because of what they have been accused of with their ownership and people in the league offices and just the whole franchise as a whole, what they've been accused of over the past couple of years, especially they've had sexual accounts and sexual misconduct of their own. So I'm like, there's no way of Deshaun Watson going. There's no way they will even, won't even touch Deshaun Watson. Everything can be clear. They would not go after Deshaun Watson because that just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make, it make too much sense not to go with it. But because of that, it also makes a lot of sense. You know, sometimes, you know, you is what you is. You know, you, you, you just is what you is. And football, winning, all that trumps everything. And they could be potentially after Deshaun Watson. And they said there's, there's nothing on the off the table. So, you know, like above my head, if nothing's off the table, I'm going to need Chase Young. G give me Chase Young. I've said this you know, back in the day when JJ's winning three defensive players of the years, he was clearly the best player on defense in the whole NFL. And I'm really not that high. I wasn't like as high as everybody was on Andrew Luck. Thought Andrew Luck was a, was a, was a good quarterback, franchise quarterback. But I didn't think he was the best quarterback in the league. I would trade JJ straight up for Andrew Luck because you cannot you cannot account for a franchise quarterback. I don't care what nobody says. You cannot account for a franchise quarterback. If you're able to get a franchise quarterback, you give you move everything you can to get a franchise quarterback because you're not winning nothing without that dude. And I would have gave up JJ White in his prime for Andrew Luck. Straight up, and I'll, straight up, no questions asked. Uh, duh, gone. I, I would have did that. That was me, my mindset. So Washington mindset, I feel like should be the same way. But because I feel like Deshaun is better than than uh, Andrew Luck is, you got to come on with that. And I'm thinking probably a, a package of the 11 pick in the draft, a future first, and Chase Young. To me, I think that's equivalent to four first-round picks, to be honest with you. 
Now, I know people will say, we know Deshaun dealing with them cases. Chase Young is dealing with it. He's just coming off an ACL injury. So, since he's coming off an ACL injury, you know, hey, discount and discount. The cases and ACL injury, because we, we I feel like he's going to be perfectly fine. I, I feel like he's going to be perfectly fine. But we don't know that you're taking a risk. When you're dealing with somebody, anybody coming off of any type of in injury, especially a major knee injury, I mean, we just seen Joe Burrow do what he did. We seen Adrian Pearson runs for 2,000 yards after the injury. So, like I said, I'm not too concerned, but we also seen Carson Wentz. After the same day after AC injury, we've seen guys not come back after AC injury. Now we've seen people like Deshaun Watson and Tom Brady and like I just said, Joe Burrow and things like that come off of, come off AC injury. Deshaun's come off of two actually, and they play just fine. But we also seen people not play just fine. So anywhere you go, anywhere you slice it, you're still taking a risk either way. So since you're going to be taking the risk either way, both of those risks cancel out each other. So now you're going back to maximum value and. Uh, four first round picks. If the, everything even, no cases of Deshaun Watson, he's worth more than four first round picks. But at the very least, four first round picks. So if I think that Chase Young, if Chase Young was just available by himself, like somebody was just trying to trade for Chase Young, they'd probably give up like like how we gave up two first round picks for Larry Tunsil, and uh, the Rams gave up two first round picks for Jalen Ramsey and, and, and uh, well, um, uh, Jamal Adams went for two first round picks to Seattle. Like, hey, two first round picks. He's a, he's equivalent of the two first round picks. Then you give me actual two first round picks. So in essence, you get four first round picks. I'm cool if you walked away with the eleven pick in this draft, a future first, and Chase Young. I'm taking that, no doubts about it. I'm taking that. You're talking about a guy who's uh, 6'5", 260, like 65 pounds, who who who. who he is with, like 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 uh like Ryan Clark said. He's exactly what we thought and hoped Javon Clowns was gonna be. He's a future defensive player of the year type player. He's a impact player right now. He showed that as a rookie and then throughout the beginning of the season, like this past year. He's a impact player. He's already an impact player. So you add him to this defense, being coached by Lovey Smith, you have those run. Like you 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 make your defense. You you make your defense instantly better. Now of course that's gonna hurt Washington defense, but Washington still has a good defense with or without Chase Young. Like they still have a good defense. Chase Young is obviously the best player on their defense, but they still have Monte Swin and other players like that. They still have a legitimate defense. They have a couple pieces on the offense. Got a good, got a decent offensive line. I think they I think that um, with Deshaun Watson, they definitely the second at the very least the second best team in that in that division behind Dallas. Dallas is the most talented team in that division. Dallas is one of the most talented teams in the NFL, to be honest with you. But they don't never live up to their talent. So I I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't be I wouldn't foresee that Deshaun Watson and the Washington Commanders gonna be hard to get used to saying the Washington Commanders that the Washington Commanders will actually a actually be. The best team in that division with Deshaun Watson, even without Chase Young. Definitely with Chase Young, you're talking about a team that's potentially a, a top team in the NFC. I think even without Chase Young, they definitely, at the very least, they, it's 1A, like, they're like, they're like, they're like on, on the same playing field with Dallas, and I think they can even be better than Dallas. You've seen, they just made the, they just won the division two years ago with no quarterback. Damn, they made the playoffs this past year with, Tyler, with Taylor Heineke. They damn they made the players with Tay Honeke. And we've seen that the Eagles made the players, which is the team that Deshaun nixed the trade to, reportedly. So, I would just add Deshaun Watson would make the command. It makes all the sense from a football standpoint with the commanders. Now, again, I said the off the field thing, I think, would be more concerning with them than any other team. That's why I never thought that they would be even an uh, option. If an option, hey, they talking about, they, they, they won quarterback that bad, they give up whatever. We gonna talk about. It. We have a quarterback that's a that's, uh, that's, that's available now. Again, in a perfect world, will I not want to trade to Sean Watson? Absolutely. Like I just said, franchise quarterback, you can't account for that. But if he really wants to go, and you telling me I can get Chase Young in two first, that's better than any deal any other team can offer me. I I don't know another team in the, in the, another team that's in the market to get Deshaun Watson that can offer me something better. I don't. If y'all do, if y'all have any other team that have a better trade package than that, then Chase Young, the 11th pick in this draft, and the future first, because again, you have Deshaun Watson, the future first should be in Washington's mind. Y'all should feel like hey, this, this, that's going to be a uh, late 20, if not 30 uh, uh, pick, uh, picks in the 30s. I'm going to give that up. Yeah, I'm going to give up the 11th pick. The 11th pick will be the pick that hurts you the most because you already know this is the 11th pick in the draft, but you were going to use that pick to draft a quarterback, a Matt Corral, or a Kenny Pickett. You don't know if these guys are going to be a Deshaun Watson. You don't know what these guys are going to be. 
They can be better, but you don't you don't know. At least you know Deshaun Watson is an all pro caliber quarterback. He's a top five. If Deshaun Watson on the field, he's a top five quarterback in the league. I know we can add in Joe Burrow, we can add in uh Justin Herbert, Josh Allen. He's better than Josh Allen. I think he's better than Justin uh uh, uh, uh um uh, I think he's better than, than, than Justin Herbert. And even though I know that we just seen Joe Burrow go to the Super Bowl, I think Deshaun Watson's better than, than Joe Burrow. I think Deshaun Watson's the second best quarterback in the league behind Patrick Mahomes. That's me personally. Y'all might feel differently, but that's me. So in saying that, I don't care if I'm giving up the 11th pick, Chase Young, and the future first. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. Y'all can sit up and say we don't know where he's gonna play. We got the, got the case of whoop, 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 whoop. all that. Yeah, you taking that risk. But also your defensive player of the year, I mean your defensive rookie of the year, you don't know if he's going to be that type of player. So I would, if if Houston's willing to take that, I'm going to give that. And I'm a fan of Houston, I am willing to take that because I think that Chase Young, you take Chase Young, that third pick, you definitely know what you're doing because no long, you no longer need Aiden Hutchinson or Thibodeau. One, I don't think Thibodeau fits what Lovey wants to do. I think Aiden Hutchinson will fit more what Lovey wants to do. But if you have Chase Young, you don't need you don't need uh, Aiden Hudson. You don't need that. So what you do with that third pick, you pick who I think is the best player in the draft all together, Kyle Hamilton, the safety, the guy who can do everything, can play slot, can play man-to-man, -man, can play uh, uh, zone, can be a box safety, can be a center fielder, can play cone if you need him to. He's an all-around safety who can, who's an impact safety who can change your defense by himself. He can change the defense. So you give him Chase Young to put the pressure on the quarterback, then with the 11th pick, you go out there, and you draft sauce? Come on, man. You telling me, you telling me right now, I can get Chase Young in this trade, get um two first two first or first round picks, which one of them being this year's eleven pick. I get I draft Kyle Hamilton number third overall. With the eleven pick in the draft, I get Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati, who didn't give up no touchdowns. His rookie, his, his whole his whole collegiate career in, in Cincinnati. I know it's Cincinnati, but still, you gotta give credit where the credit due. He ain't give him no touchdowns his whole career, none whatsoever, no touchdowns at all. And then in the fourth or fifth round, you get his running mate, the corner that was opposite him, in uh in, in uh in Cincinnati, Kobe Bryant. Baby, baby, come on, man, you you telling me you gonna have Kyle Hamilton, Sauce Gardner? Kobe Bryant opposite who play, who they played together all the time, so they know each other. You got that type of you got that type of dog back there as uh um as safety Kyle Hamilton, and then you trade and got Chase Young putting the pressure on the quarterback, and Lovey Smith is coaching his defense. Come on, man! Like 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 come come on, man! Y'all see where I'm going with this? Y'all see how that makes too much sense? I'm again. All considered, I would much rather keep Deshaun Watson. I will reiterate that. I would rather keep Deshaun Watson. If he would want to play, I would rather keep him. But if he does if he just, oh, I have to go. No matter what, I'm never playing for Houston again. This is your best option. Name me another package that's better. Name me another four, lay out another four man, another scenario that is better than that. Did you get Chase Young, Kyle Hamilton, Sauce Gardner, and then we also could get uh Kobe Bryant. Your secondary is solidified. You have a viable pass rush. Come on, man. You want you want to bring talk, you want to talk about the uh, uh the 05, 06 Bears that went to the Super Bowl that was dominant. Uh, Lovey Smith coach of the year. He coached that. This, you giving him what he wants. Uh, Sauce compares to uh, to Peanut Tillman. If as far as like they had the same physical attributes, same size, same skill set, things like that. I know that Peanut was more of a uh, um. You no, know, he he forced a lot of takeaways. You no, know, he, he used to punch the ball out and stuff like that. Sauce so can be something like that. I think Kyle Hamilton is an impact safety. He's a he's a safety himself who changes the defense. He him himself just add him into the defense. The defense already changes. Add Chase Young into the defense. The defense already changes. So you have two guys who can change the defense on the same defense. Two thousand two, Texans first year. Even though we drafted David Carr first overall, the best attribute on this team was the defense. Our pro first Pro Bowlers were on defense. You no know, Jamie Sharp, uh, Jamie Sharp, and uh, um, Aaron Glenn from numbers. Uh, damn, what's that DT name? Uh, Walker. 
can't think of his first name. Was it? I forgot what his name is. I can't think. The one who got who got the sack on on, on Chris Carter in the, in the season opener and then the in the first game of the season, the first game ever for the Texans. Like the defense. I mean, the game against Pittsburgh when Aaron Glenn got, ran back two pick sixes, and you beat Pittsburgh with less than hundred yards of total offense. Then, just in recent success before we got to Sean Watson, even though um, we had Matt Schaub and Aaron Foster and Andre Johnson doing what they're doing, when that defense got good, that's when the Texans started making the playoffs. And then once we were going through the quarterback carousel, we were still making the playoffs and still being a competitive team because of the defense. That's part of the reason why I'm not as high on Andrew Luck as everybody because even though Andrew Luck, even though we would split with the Colts because it took us a while to win Indianapolis, if you go look, go look at Andrew Luck's games, outside of uh, T.Y. Hilton averaging 200 yards against us every time he plays, we were forced a lot of turnovers from Andrew Luck. And Andrew Luck would become a, a turnover machine against us. he throw picks. He would fumble the football because we would apply a lot of pressure. J.J. Watt would wreak havoc back there. So we seen, as Texas fans, we seen what type of a dominant defense can do for you. And then also in, in Richmond, we seen in, when Kubiak first got here, when he started making the offense good, how bad the defense was, especially 2010, how bad, how like when Aaron Foster led the league in rushing, how horrific that defense was. And then we seen in the re, in recent memory how good Deshaun would be, but how bad the defense was. Like So we seen it. So we uh, should be gravitating to making the defense good. Now, again, like I always say, it doesn't matter because we didn't win nothing because you don't have a quarterback. But that's a conversation for another day. But at the very least, you put a defense right there, it's compared to the team again. It is that. Definitely. Absolutely. You it's, it's a respectable team. You're, now you we got a respectable coaching staff. Now you can put a respectable defense and respectable team on the field if you do something like that. And there's a little whispers, a little whispers, a little rumblings about a potential quarterback who the Texans might target via free agency. I'm going to say this. I'm, that's that's my little tease. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just tease that out there. there. There's rumors and little rumblings of a future quarterback, uh, a potential quarterback they can get via free agency that I actually think would factor into this this equation quite nicely. Quite nicely. And at the very least, will make this Texas team a whole lot of entertaining. Whole lot of entertaining. And it's not Davis Mills. Sorry for all you Mills Mafia out there. It's not Davis Mills. <laughs> but again, I'm going to say that for another one. I'm, I'm going to say that for another one. Just, that's just a little tease. Because I, I got a video dropping about that one very, very soon, specifically. But, and all in all, again... If this is on the table, now again, I'm just spe- I, I, this is just me personally. While I'm bringing it out to the table, I'm not saying this is what the, this is what they should be trying to go after. If you're telling me you get Chase Young, the 11th pick in the draft, and a future first, I'm cool with that. Hopefully, the future first is a 2023. But if they push it back to 2024. I wouldn't be. I would grit my teeth. I would grit my teeth like ah. That's, uh, I would want it, definitely want it to be 2023. And actually, to be honest, if I'm watching it, I would rather be up front too. But then again, they might feel like, hey, just in case Deshaun don't play this year and I don't want there to be another high draft pick or something like that because that could be the situation that Deshaun doesn't play all year or doesn't play this year at all. And then that 2023 pick would be even higher because they don't have Chase Young. So it, it, could, it, it, it could be a situation like that. So I uh, and, and when you getting back a player like Chase Young, you might have to take, you know, you might have to do some negotiating. You might have to say, okay, hey, look. Because, you know, in the NFL, it's not like NBA, how they got, like, protected picks and top five and top ten protected, stuff like that. So, or first round protected or whatever, however, like, all the all the different things that they can put in place on, on the NBA type drafts. You don't, you don't have the things in the NFL, to, the, to my knowledge. I've never seen that happen. Like, I've never seen... Anybody. I wonder why they can't if they can't because even though it's not a lottery, you could you should be able to put like, hey, if it's a hey, let, let it be a top five protected pick. Like if this pick goes into the top five, I need to get it back. I get it back and you get my future first, or you get the next year's first, or something like that. I mean, I don't know why they can't do that, but you know, I, I I can see why they might be wanting to grin their teeth about that. But then again, I if I'm watching, I want to get it over with, like get all my because. We did all this fussing about the Larry McTunsil, and we we passed that now. Now 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 we have a first round pick this year. Like is he? I think it'll be even worse if you push it out like like a credit card bill, and you push it you you, you push it out. You, you're pushing the bill. You keep kicking the can down the road. Cause then what about if eventually that year might be worse? 
something might happen. And like, damn, now I end up, all right, I had all these years when I, I was good and my, my pick was a low pick. I should have gave that pick to them. Now, Food Run has some injuries here and then, boom, now I'm picking top five. I'm, I'm picking top five. Kind of like last year with the Dolphins. We thought that we were going to be in the situation where we were going to be picking the top 25 because we got Larry Tunsil. Defense was trash. The Fuller gets suspended. All the other bull happens. And they got a top three pick. And I'm trading it, but they end up getting a top three pick off of us. So you be careful about pushing stuff down the road too far. So sometimes you might just want to get it over with. And will Washington, will, it, will Washington even go after Sean? Like I said, I thought possibly, more than likely, they wouldn't. I still possibly think potentially they will not. But, hey, if they any means necessary to get a quarterback, we got one in Houston. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. Might cost you a little. Might cost you a lot. But it's going to cost you. If you tell me I'm getting Chase Young, the 11th pick, and another first-round pick, I have to part ways with Deshaun if, that's, if he definitely wants to go. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't. Click that bell. Get more videos. I'll holler.